Don't fold now, you hear me? Don't fold now. Whatever you do, don't fold now. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I really be tapping in, so I'm aware of the heaviness on the collective or, or certain parts of the collective. I'm aware of the heaviness. I feel y'all. You hear me? Just keep walking. Just keep just just keep pressing forward. Just keep moving, move, move, moving past it. It's, it's just it's just energy. Remember, it's just energy. Beneath it all, whatever was going on, it's just energy. You hear me? You know, um, I be speaking to so many things from so so from so so many different aspects from so many different places from so so from so many different dimensions in the mansion of humanity in the mansions of our minds you know through experiences you know to the point that if you haven't already seen it you will see it when it show up if you tap in with me at least you'll you'll be able to, if you haven't already seen it you'll be able to see it when it show up or Damn fly that got in here. Or oh, you seeing it right now. Y'all pardon me, you hear me? Um, the reason why I say that is because it's springtime. And, and like any season, every season must come to a close. And spring is coming to a close. And the cycles that must come to a close with it is also coming to a close. So that means spring cleaning. That means... Uh, spring clearance and that means spring closeout now for those of us who move around and I and I'm sure anybody who come through moving around to some extent or another or if you shop you you pretty you pretty aware of those terms that I just just use spring cleaning spring clearance and spring closeout and usually when when you see those signs in the stores that you see those signs or Whenever you see certain type of advertisements via media or whatever, sales usually come with them. But I'm, I'm talking about spirit, spiritual spring cleaning. I'm talking about spiritual spring clearance. I'm talking about spiritual spring closeout. You see, so what that means is nothing can be bought. You see, it's a work that has to be done. So what that means is everything vibrationally low must go. You can hear, you hear me? And, 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 and if you carry anything vibrationally vibrationally low you should be willing to, to to let it go for free you hear me don't try to get it to nobody else let it go for free send it back send it back to where it came from if, if, if you know you know you hear me but um i feel good right now because feeling good better than feeling bitter if you don't listen you're gonna miss it but as i said before don't give up now you know everything is preparation you know whatever we find ourselves going through when we find ourselves going through Anything that we find ourselves going through is preparation for something better. It's preparation for something bigger. You hear me? And you can make the biggest difference by not staying the same. I don't know who I'm talking to or who I'm talking for. You know, you can make the biggest difference by not staying the same. But, but, and all who I talk to, uh, who reflect myself from talking to me. And one thing about when I talk to me, I don't lie to myself, you know. As y'all can tell, I don't lie to myself. You hear me? Um, but concerning what whatever may be going on with us, where how it's going on with us, and we shouldn't place too much any more care in what's going on than necessary. I say it like that. But I want to ask us a question concerning where we are right now. See, regardless of what's going on, where are you at with it? Um, and I say that because we can get so caught in what's right now that, as y'all heard, as y'all as y'all have heard me say before, we forget what all we don't been brought through, you know. And for a lot of us, even if we're in uncomfortable places right now, you know, where we at right now is much more smoother than where we have been. Where we at right now is much more smoother than what we have lived through, you know. And I'm, I'm and I'm grateful. I'm very grateful and I'm thankful, you know, because I have lived through a lot of things, and my path is much more beautiful now <laughs> than a lot of what I have lived through. You hear me? 
and and through that, through being a survivor, through being a warrior, you hear me? <laughs> through being a seal, you know, through being a, a sage, you know, through being many things to many people, you know, <laughs> in, in the form of being one person, you know, it has taught me many things. And ain't nothing more important to me than my connection with the divine, you know, some call it God, whatever, the ancestors, you know, and my ancestors. And for most of us, our mind was made up a long time ago, according to the things that we experienced at an early age, even though that, even though we didn't understand many things that we was going through, good, bad, or indifference, it had enough impact and enough effect on us for us to start shaping our, our minds and more than our minds according to how we were going to see the world, how we were going to see people, how we were going to see places, and how we were going to see things through the energy that influenced us and good, bad, or indifference. You know, according to how we made good, bad, or indifferent from it, you know, it's a beautiful lesson. But only, as I said, a lot of us made up our mind a long time ago, but only a few of us knew it. And those of us who knew it are able to speak from those places that we made, that place that we made, that we made up our mind until this place that we find ourselves in right here and now, you know. Um, good, bad, or indifference. And I said all that to say because whatever we seeing, whatever we experiencing, we operating in our full power. <laughs> you know, we operating in our full power. And, and some gave, and some of us gave all we knew to fight and avoid mental connect, contamination just to keep us into a genuine and sincere connection with ourselves. You hear me? So. I don't expect that to relate to everybody because <laughs> I know it don't, you hear me? But we all in our full power according to what we accepted, what we accepted, what we have accepted, what we adapted to, what, and what we have adapted, and what we adjusted to, you hear me? According to the, to, to the adjustments that's already been made. And I say that because as people, <clears throat> And as an individual, we're going to think what we want to think. We're going to feel what we want to feel. We're going to say what we want to say. And we're going to do what we want to do. We're going to believe what we want to believe. And we're going to know what we choose to know. Now, for those who have the ability to listen, you will see that in that sequence, something changed. And, and in the place that something changed is the place of the most importance. You know, we're gonna choose, we're gonna choose what we know. <laughs> we're gonna choose what we know because reality is not a belief system. <laughs> I repeat, reality is not a, not a belief system, but, but I'll leave that at that. We in our power, what we gonna do with it. You hear me? What we gonna do with it. You know? Um, if we open the different ways of viewing things, different ways of perceiving things, different and 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 get motivated and find their ways to apply what we learning from those perceptions, from those views into our lives, we should be able to see some type of evidence, you know. We should be able to look back and see some type of evidence. As I said earlier, you know, we should be in a much more smoother place than the things that we have lived through, you know. We should be in a much more smoother place than the things that we have lived through. And we could be going through some uncomfortable things right now, but we should be, you're gonna listen, you're gonna miss it, in a much more smoother place than the things that we have lived through. You hear me? So, even in the event of uncomfortability, we should be able to find comfort that that 
we further along than 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 we have been. We further along than what it once was. You hear me? I don't know who need to hear that, but stay encouraged. You hear me? Um, that don't mean things. <laughs> Things don't change overnight. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't here to present that. And this, this, this ain't that type of, I ain't that type of person for this to be that type of channel. Things don't change overnight, man. But with work, but with consistence, with application, you know, things can't change overnight. You know, one thing at a time. You know, can't do it all at once. You know, can't do it all at once. That ain't how it works. But. We should see some change in us. We should see some change around us. According to the change that we have made in the, in ourselves and around ourselves, you hear me? Cause, you know, cleaning, clearance, clothes out. You heard? Um, they say it's important. <laughs> We've heard it's important to prepare, especially when it comes to insurance commercials. We heard it's important to prepare for your death while you're alive, you know. Now, that don't benefit those who prepare for their death while they're alive, but it, it benefits those that they leave behind. But spirituality is like a life insurance policy to me. For me to say, it's important to prepare for your death while you're alive. And there's many ways that you can do that while you're living, you see. Not only so you be in the highest expression, the highest version, uh, the highest abundance, the highest prosperity, the highest good for yourself, but as well as others. But it's about you first. You hear me? If you can't, if, if you if you're not able to do it, nobody not able, no, nobody nobody not able to experience. It. But in me, it's a part of me that knows we all here to live and experience the high expression of life that we could possibly create and manifest for ourselves and bring all things into its highest expression that have contact or connection uh, to us or bring all things that we come into contact with in its highest expression upon contact, you know? And it take trust and it take belief in yourself, but most of all, it take knowing yourself. And my question is, how far do you see yourself? You hear me? Because I don't lie to myself. And that's a good place to start. You hear me? Um, I was going to read the card, but I'm led to close it out like that. I feel like I said enough for us to marinate on. We're going to do it again tomorrow. Remember, we can't forget that we we get to pick and choose. We can't forget we get to pick and choose. You know, how far do you see yourself? You hear me? Feel good for no reason at all. Um, salute to the Cosmic Conscious family and Soul Tribe. So, salute to the new subscribers. Salute to the peekaboos and passerbys. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and holiness. You hear me? Um, thanks for the likes, shares, comments, questions. Uh, donations, love offerings, appreciate y'all, and so forth and so on. Until we do it again, my name is Saul. Love.